Hi everybody, uh, it's uh, Sean again. We're going to talk about something here that uh, kind of a pet peeve of mine and also it, this is a great tip for those of you who aren't set up to do agar. Now, uh, if you're a member of the Facebook group Mushroom Growing for Beginners and Experts, the one that's set up by uh, Lenny Rockwell for the uh, at uh, My Selling Emporium, and uh, or if you've been doing a lot of uh, research online, you'll find people that are telling you you have to test LC on agar plates. Uh, you don't necessarily have to test LC if it's from a really reliable source. Lenny is from an extremely reliable source, of course. Uh, now, if I get it from somebody else, I don't, but if I did, or if I cloned something and I produced my own LC from that agar plate, I most definitely do test it. Now, if you're not Instead of having, uh, if you're not set up for agar, or like me, you don't want a hundred plates sitting around doing nothing, uh, just being a waste. Uh, here's a really great tip, and what this is, is the mini jar. And this is a half pint straight sided, got a regular mouth on it, and I set up lids that are exactly the same as a full size jar. And I'm going to do the same process. Just a few of the hardwood fuel pellets because these ones will be used for testing uh, some strains to see how they're doing, uh, some LC expansions. And then these things take one half cup of grain. And that's it. A little mini jar. And the reason I, I do definitely put uh, some hardwood fuel pellets in there is because uh, these things are going to get a full mill and that's a lot for this little jar so they get a full mill you can get away with half a mill but I like to squirt half a mill on two sides on these things after they're processed this will expand a little bit of course and it's the same deal uh, set it up a foil cap and these are ready to process now these things are great and you say well gee uh, this is more of a waste than say an agar plate ah not true because what you can do with these is this is a perfect amount to use for a grain to grain to a full size quart jar you can do a couple of these to test something and if they come out clean if you're not seeing any signs of bacteria and I always do two you see no signs of bacteria or anything uh, you can turn around break this jar up, make up some jars that are a little bit underfilled, fill them uh, no more than about two thirds full, and that extra half cup, give you a three quarter, you know, you do that, that mix, don't shake like crazy when you're mixing up grain to grain, or if you're breaking up or mixing a jar at 25-30%, just break it up and mix it. Don't shake the crap out of it. That, that can really damage your mycelium. It really can make a difference. But these things are great. Uh, I, I'm making up a big batch of these, uh, seven of these today. These come in very, very handy for me. Uh, it's a great tip. It's also a great way of uh, stretching out my cell, uh, uh, an LC syringe because you can use just a mill on, on these. You can get ten of these, ten quarts instead of uh, just a three or four out of a syringe. So anyway, that's just a nice little tip. We wanted to show you this and uh, happy growing and get all your LC with my selling appointment.